artist would not fear the censor, where the scientist would not be bound by petty morality, where the great would not be constrained by the small. And with the sweat... Welcome back to the board plays of Bioshock Remastered. Uh, before we begin, I, I want to... I want to say a couple things. Uh, obviously, you saw I changed the intro for this series because it was, well, it was just a bit stupid, really, wasn't it? And um, I'm going to do that for all my board plays in the future. And uh, I think I'm just going to, feel I'm going to do away with the credits for this series. I don't think it really needs them. It's a waste of time. Um, so yeah, that's uh, those are the changes I'm going to make. Uh, anyway, shall we go on? My dude agrees. Let's do this. Uh, Medal Pavilion. Not my supervisor. You know, you know what? One thing I did want to do actually, uh, because I remember something about this area. It's uh, it's quite irritating. So I'm gonna re-enable the Vita chambers because I have this nasty sense that I'm gonna get myself killed here at least twice, and I don't want to have to redo the whole area or or save too much. Let's buy one of those now. Oh dear. This is one of my least favourite parts of this game, is the hacking. Because it's basically this uh, pipe dream thing. I think that was the name of it. There was a there was a pipe matching game at one point. I think it was called Pipe Dream. I don't I don't entirely remember. Um now obviously that one was easy as hell because it was the first one, but um Most of them are just irritating. Move out the way, robot. Especially when you get late game, they get really obtuse. Keep away from my oh, yes, we... Alright, so we've got splicers doing the splicer things. Keep away from my patience. There we go. Let them duke it out. That's one thing I do like about the game, is the uh, enemies sometimes seem more interested in attacking each other than you. This bit of glass has been shot out. How many times have I played this game? And somehow I've missed this almost every time, but that window is broken. There we go. That was a bit, um, well that wasn't exactly, uh, how would you, how would you say it? Elegant? Where are you going? There we go. Oh, there's a crate here. Let's search that. How can I help you if you won't come to me? Typical behavior for something! There we go, he's dead. That's what I was trying to pick up all that time. Oh goody, I can hack this one too. Or I can buy it out for ten dollars, which I will do. Because it's easier, and I am lazy. Oh look at all these dollars. Oh, I just kicked a machine on top of some of them. That's annoying. I can't pick that up. Uh, there we go. I keep pressing reload, I don't know why. Already 
searched her, didn't I? That's right. Pardon me. Uh, I want to be able to get this turret that's hiding over here and if my little robot shoots at it it uh, unstuns it. That's the only downside to having one of these robots is you can't really rely too much on the uh, on the system of shocking things because again the robot will just wake it up immediately. Wake it up? That doesn't seem right. So these these puzzles are so flow breaking for me, like they really take away from the fun. Oh. I wouldn't give for some sort of quick melee. These will come in very handy later, so there we go, just buy it out. I'm gonna do that a lot. If if I can afford to buy it out, if the cost is negligible, then I'm just gonna do it. Cause you know, I'll find more money. I'll always find more money. I got stuck on the turret for a second there. You might be wondering why are there all these random uh, health stations just lying around in the city. There is actually a reason for it. This big civil war took place, I believe, and uh, these were kind of just sort of installed to make money off of both sides. That's kind of what Rapture is. It's a it's almost like a monument to capitalism. It's a shame. It looks like a nice city, like on the surface, but I wouldn't actually want to live here. Mostly because I hate capitalism. It's just evil. Obviously that statement needs some significant qualifiers, but, uh, you know. Ugh, Jesus, tap dancing Christ. Sorry, I, I don't really enjoy doing this, but it's that way you just get cheaper prices on stuff. And I know I said you can always find more money, but... You know, if it was like if it's like ten dollars just to auto hack a machine, I'll do it. But if it costs like twenty bucks for ammo or, or something like that, and I can take it down without paying, I will. I don't think it takes the price down that much actually. I think it reduces it like yeah, it's like by a dollar. Oh wow, look at me go! Right, I'm not going to bother with that machine there. Actually, I, I can find stuff elsewhere. I'm going to try and do that mini game as, as infrequently as possible. Because it is a huge pain in the ass. Fish just swimming in the current. Why do we have two eyes? There's a law that says we must. Two arms, two legs, two ears, two breasts. I'm not finished. I'm not finished. Now, I don't know why I always shoot at him there, because I know you can't kill him there. So yeah, there we gotta go find telekinesis. 
It's a cool plasmid. You, you basically just throw stuff with it. I mean, I don't know why my bloke can't just grab the grab the grenade and throw it back at the dude. It's not, it's not much safer. Well, not safer, that's the wrong word. It's not much more dangerous. See, I nearly got myself killed there. Electro Bolt doesn't seem to be as useful as it used to be. I mean, in Bioshock 2, I found it incredibly useful, but... So, I don't, so it used to be was probably the wrong word there. What, I'm, what I meant to say was it wasn't as useful as it is in the second game. Oh, machine gun lines. It's in a hammer. 14. Okay. Uh, we'll eat the potato crisps. Annoys me when they put like an item that reduces your Eve and then one that raises your Eve in the same damn container. Because you've got to then um because you just you just don't get anything basically. Yeah, I can't be asked. I truly cannot be asked. I'm starting to realise it might sound like I'm ending up quite down on this game. I I want to reclarify that it's still one of my favourite games of all time. But uh, I am seeing a few wrinkles now that I've gone back to play it. Let's remove that. Sometimes they explode when they die. He did not this time. My turret's shooting at something. Don't know what. Oh, that raises your Eve. I'm not going to use it now. I'm just going to let that thing keep shooting. Security cameras. I can hear the inferno things all around you. Just one. Riot's eyes and ears. Oh. I was just out. Just did its detection range. Now, uh, you can hack these, but I don't want to because it's a waste of my time. Although that was probably a waste of my ammo as well, so. <laughs> Fucking hell. Yeah, fine, I will hack you. Didn't realise my ammo was so low, and didn't realise that these bullets did so little damage to it. These are quite heavily armoured cameras, aren't they? Ta-da! We've got a cheese top. So you hack and heal, basically. That's fine. That at least makes hacking a little less... Well, it's still annoying, but... I'll probably do it a bit more now. I don't understand. Why are you... Why is that just not as effective as, as it's supposed to be? I know it's supposed to be more effective than that. Not like instant kill, but it's supposed to be better than that. 29 machine gun rounds, brilliant. Let's reload that before I forget. Okay, through here. So, you hear Ryan uh, trying to entice the people to kill me with, uh, you know, using Adam. Light up foes to a thousand degrees. Warning, fire spread. As the guy in the second game says, it, Adam's basically a genetic goo that lets you rewrite whatever you got. And that's where your superpowers are coming from. Did I say that in the last video? I might have done. I don't entirely remember. I don't write scripts for these. I just, I just say stuff. I do like how they look charred. I need to stop talking over him, don't I? I need to stop doing that. It's just irritating. I forget how much he talks. Like, don't get me wrong, we, we need the talking for the, uh, for the story, but still. 
keep thinking there's going to be another splicer over here somewhere. Let's go in here first before we before we progress proper. Funeral services. Oh. the wrong choice. I might as well hack this because I'll get a bit of health and Eve back. In the second game, this stupid, stupid little mini game is replaced with a quick type event. And uh, I, I don't love quick type events as a rule, like they're, they're not my favourite part of a game. I find them a bit irritating sometimes. Not in, the, not in that Tomb Raider reboot. I found them quite funny in that Tomb Raider reboot because I always managed to mess them up. And watching Lara get killed was weirdly enjoyable. Mostly because I'm a psycho... a psycho thing? Well, a psychopath, apparently. But, you know. Again, we can hack that. Fuck it. Auto-hack. I'm not... I ain't pissing about. I search you? Yeah, I search. He has a corpse there. He's got nothing on him. There. See, that time it worked. That time it did enough damage. Zero, four, five, one. Okay. It's just, uh... Oh. Search, there we go. See, there's a door over here. You know, you can hack these. Like, you don't have to, uh... Well, later on you can hack them. I forgot what the code was. Um, 0451. Yeah, later on you can just hack these. But, uh, not yet. Which I guess I get. You know, it needs to introduce you to the mechanic before it lets you bypass it, but... Still. Hey, I haven't gone in here yet, have I? What is this foreboding? Uh, I'm going to leave the badges alone because I could use them later. I don't need to just collect everything for its own sake. Well, that's rude. Oh, look, there's a tonic. I've got an engineering tonic. Reduces difficulty with hacking turrets. And okay, that's good. If I must do it, I'd rather at least be, uh, you know, not as much of a pain in the ass. I hate how you move so slowly in water. There we go. Just trading blows there, weren't we? Luckily, there's some uh, bandages here, which will restore a small amount of health. And I'll take a small amount of health over no health. Oh, God. God fucking shit ass. Okay, I'll just pop her. I could have just hit her with a wrench, but uh, I truly could not be asked to switch to it. I'm, I'm not actually in the best frame of mind right now, am I? Uh, I'm a bit negative. Uh, had a bit of a shitty day today, is all. Uh, so the guys looking forward to went horribly wrong. I lost a bunch of files from my computer. And, uh, yeah, so it's been a bit of an irritating day. But, uh, you know, we're, I'll move on, don't we? We'll move on. Might as well. For a minute there, I'd forgotten where to go. It's this way. I keep forgetting I have this, because this does damage to splices. But it's fire, of course it does damage to splices. Which is good, because all I have to do is keep him at a distance, and, uh... Oh. Well, I've also got to remember that they can, they, they can hit you from slightly further away than you think they can. Oh god, I haven't got the plasma jet. I don't want to go there yet. Ooh, that's what I'm talking about. Shotgun. I love the shotgun. Let's just uh, recharge that because it's a really handy thing to have. 
because it basically stuns the splice. What, what the fuck? Where did you even come from? Horrid monster, you're the ones trying to murder me. Pretty sure I just heard another one running around. Yeah, I like the shotgun. Shotguns are cool. Pretty sure it's this way I need to go. There's a lot of ways to go around here. Ugh. Should I do it? I'll just buy it out. It's fine. It's cheap enough. As I say, when the cost is negligible, I will just buy it out. I, I don't have any, uh... I've got no... No pretense that I'm going to do this in the most skilled way possible. Oh, there's a thing up there. However, should I get it down? Perhaps I'll use this handy plasmid. Oh, uh, it's hard to choose which one I'll need less. less. Well, that's less effective, but when, when I finally have to fight a big daddy in this place, I'm going to need it, so... Telekinesis, I guess. Throw objects at foes. You can even catch grenades and throw them back. Come over here. Yeah, it does. I mean, I can press this to turn that on to practice, but... I don't need practice picking stuff up. Okay, apparently I did. You'll say, is she dead? Yeah, she's dead. Okay. I right, don't need the bandages. Fuck it. Again, I, c I truly don't want to put up with it. You don't get much from the saves sometimes. Saves? That's not right, is it? Safes. It doesn't sound right either. Hold on. What's the plural of safe? As in the box you keep stuff in. Right, so now we can also dig around the area a bit. Which is good. There's going to be a turret here. Luckily I can just go this way. Kind of avoid it. Oh, look at that. A conspicuous uh, line of bandages. Yeah, it's going to be easy enough. And besides, I'll get a little bit of health and eve back for it, so I might as well. When I used to play this a lot more, like when this was the thing I'd put on after college or after school or whatever, I used to have to spend ages doing this because I played the game so much. I went, I just made one time, me and my friend played Bioshock 2 together, and uh, you know, we swapped over from time to time. And uh, as soon as we were done, we just started the whole new game. Like, unironically, we were actually just we were having such a good time with the game as a whole. We were happy enough to start a whole new game as soon as we finished the original. Oh. So far I haven't found that so much with the first game. I don't find it quite as replayable. I don't, don't find it quite as engaging in that way. Now, it's still great. I, I know I sound like I might be contradicting myself, but it's still a great game. It's not even close to a bad game. I will take the uh, somewhat dodgy Bioshock over, well, most things actually, because it's, it's just a good game. You know that. And now that I've got the shotgun, which is probably the one of the best weapons in the game, I feel like I could, uh, I could do this. Uh, what was I doing? Oh yeah, I was going to go this way first, because there was an extra thing this way that I quite often miss when I play the game, because, uh, I overlook this one little thing here, this key that you need to get in here. There's a camera in that corner. And about here, it's actually going to be handy because. There we go. Well, it would have been handy if I hadn't just murdered them, you know, in such a cheap way, but I'm a busy murderer stuff to do, places to be. Oh, there's another one. Like I say, if I can just, yeah, just $10 to hack that, no problem. Auto hack. Solved. It still gives you that little victory music even when you auto hack it. Like, the game doesn't actually care how you approach that. 
Because, you know, so that's good. I mean, that's the game's attitude in general. It doesn't seem to care particularly how you approach most things, just as long as you make progress, that's all it gives a shit about. And I respect that. I just remember I could have opened that door. Not that I needed to, I've already got everything from in there. There's no point. But I could have. Oh, hello. No Vita Chamber, that's right. Now, I hear there's supposed to be a, uh, a new Bioshock game. It's in development, I think. And apparently it's supposed to have, like, Fallout-style role-playing game elements, like, uh, you know, dialogue choices, and I think I heard you can play as a male or female, so... Which sounds interesting. Of course, they always sound interesting. Doesn't mean they will actually be interesting, but they always sound interesting. Yeah, I need that. To do that for. And now I can throw that. You do have to be quite fast to draw your plasmids. Oh, come the fuck on. Look, I, that's cheap, isn't it? Like, I should go and get my drone back, but I can't be asked. Take that. Take her shit. Take her shit. Luckily, there's a drone there for me to take. Oh, the uh, thing ran out. Again, just gonna buy it out because. The fuck off. This will actually come in handy later, so again, just buying it out. I've got places to be. This camera in here is not useful to me because you never have to come back in here again. It's kind of spazzing out there. Oh, boops. Uh, well, I've got to do this one the proper way, don't I? What I hate is you get so little time to do the safes. Like, it makes sense. You're supposed to keep things safe and you would have less time to hack the safe. I mean, I don't know why you'd build a safe that could be hacked in the first place, but... Like, I'm just going to say it. Keys and standard locks are very effective. Obviously, again, this exists for mechanics' sake. I mean, they could have put a lock, a regular lock-picking minigame in, but uh, knowing Bioshock, it'd probably be a bejeweled thing. I'd have to match three colours to somehow pick the lock. I'm not giving it enough credit, am I? I'm getting $10, I might as well. Again, the cost is negligible. Now, there is actually a money limit in this game, but I very rarely reach it because I spend my time buying what out machines. Well, that's just rude. I didn't judge your appearance, mate. See, so look how much damage that one anti-personnel bullet did. Why am I using this? Why am I not using this? It's for some reason. that at him. Much like that. There we go. There we go. You all right? It was time somebody took care of that sick bastard. Make sure you get the key off, Diamond. And head back to emergency access. I'm working my way to the back side of Port Neptune myself. 28, no, I'm not We're paying that for a bloody machine. $10, okay, what's that got inside it? 
bunch of health kits. Brilliant. Uh, paid ten dollars for a health kit. I think that's what the, I think. Well, actually, that's actually a bargain. They're usually like twenty-five dollars, so I paid less to get one there, and it meant I could just use one of the ones I already had. And now, watch as I am an incredibly cheap bastard. Because <laughs> they'll just run into that. They've got no self-preservation whatsoever. The ones with guns are a bit smarter, as you've seen. That's handy enough to have. I mean, it'll stun my own machines, but, you know, I'll just try to avoid getting hit in melee too much. Oh, that's not good. That's rude. And I can't even search him. I mean, no, oh no, death. Daddy for a second there. But the thing is, I never saw that on the PS3. Like, all these little, like, mechanical things I'm noticing, I didn't notice them on the PS3. So, well done, current generation consoles. Well, technically last generation now, because the PS5 exists. Uh, I'm going to rescue her. I just don't feel right about... Like, there's a lot of things I will do, but like, I don't feel right about ripping part of her body out just to power myself up. Mm. Partly because it's gross. Oh god. Thank you. Look at her face. I made the wrong choice. At least in the second game, they look like actual children. get Armoured Shell and Eve Link. And I've still got 40 Ab Adam left in the bank, so that's good. Now this is usually where I end up getting myself killed, because we're prompted to fight a big daddy, basically, immediately. Now we don't have to actually do that. Like, where'd my robot go? I had a robot, right? Where'd he go? Because he would be really handy in this fight. But uh, I'll have to rely on the turrets. Oh well. We can come back and kill him later, obviously. I say obviously. You're ready now. Time to take on one of them big daddies. Oh. It won't be easy, but it's the only way to get to little sister. And the Adam they carry. She meddled something. There's stuff in here. Oh, it's gone. What my robot? Is he still there? No, he's gone. God damn it. I'm gonna have a turret, don't I? I'll keep mobile, because... These things would do a lot of damage if their attacks connect. Where do you go? I don't want to move. Has he like forgotten that I exist? That's hurtful. 
I remember you exist. Wait, no, she, he's still he's still alerted to me. Again, I want to put some distance between me so I can reload. Where'd he go? He's not very good at tracking me, is he? Again, I didn't have this problem when I played the game on the PS3. In the previous gaming generation. It's only on the PS4 version. Oh shit. I've got none. I could do this actually, couldn't I? There we go. Motherfucker. That, that's upsetting. Let's just do this. Let's just rescue her. Now usually the big daddy kills me at least once, so... I'm kind of happy. Thank you, mister. Thank you. Uh, you're welcome, thing that... It's supposed to be a human child. They somehow look more appealing as the little sisters. But hey, at least I've now got some Eve. Uh, oh, there's a talky thing there. I don't know why I keep collecting. I've, I've already been through the game and got the... I think I've got the trophy for this and everything, but... I just can't help myself. I see something that shines and I need to collect it. I think that's just a gamer oh, thing. I'm ready for dream time, Mr. Bubbles. She still says that stuff. I could never tell if that was a. Uh, Are you almost oh. back to emergency access? Come through as soon as you get there. You got Ryan's eye now. You won't hear them coming, but it'll be there before you know it. Oh, God damn it! I'm deal with this fudge cake. Why do I undermine it by saying fudge cake? Well, I'll just get this ready and lob it back in. I'm opening you up. Why are you dragging out your treatment? Just do that for a bit. There we go. A nitro splicer. They're annoying, but it's done now. There we go. Security alert deactivated. Brilliant. For your patient. I don't know how you managed it, but you did. Come through to Port Neptune now. I'm looking forward to shaking your hand. I will, but not because you said to. You'll uh, appreciate how ironic that is later. Like, I'm pretty sure this water isn't supposed to be in this bathosphere right now. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure it's not. But anyway, right, cool. Let's travel, and that'll be the end of this episode when we get there. The fighting McDonald's. Well, that's nice. If your plasmids are losing effectiveness against, yeah, okay. I do hope there is another installment of this series, but I also hope that uh, it doesn't do the thing the 2K said they want to do, where they overly monetize it. Because that would just ruin the game. There we go. Right, we've made it to this bit. So that's the end of this episode. Um, Next time, obviously, we're going to go through this uh, Port Neptune area and see that smuggler. Hello. That was me waving my wrench at him. Okay, so thanks for tuning in, guys. I'll see you next time. Uh, Board Gamer signing off.